Welcome to Quiz This 2015. Over the next half an hour or so, we're going to look back on everything that happened in the past year, along with the help of my special guests. But don't forget, it's not just for them to play. You can round up your friends at home, piece of paper and pen, and when you're finished, email the answers into don't be ridiculous, this actually isn't a real TV show, at hotmail.com. <laughs> but on to the people whose ma answers actually do matter. Let's meet our teams. On team number one, we have Gracious Maureen and Connor Sargent. It's team winners. Yeah, team winners. Team winners, we have been told. And on team two, who I may know have bribed me before the show to give them full points at the end of Oh, we weren't supposed to say that. Is Brain and Emma. And have we got a team name for you? Uh, team McFlurry with extra chocolate sauce because we deserve it. It's ironic, he bribed me with a McFlurry. I probably could have gotten more. Anyway, mm. on to the questions. For the first round, we talk all things music. So, for my first question, the 58th annual Grammy Awards take place later on this month. But I, what I want to know is, what artist has gained the most nominations this year? Now, to give you a bit of a hint, I'll give you three choices. We have Taylor Swift, Canadian singer The Weeknd, or Compton rapper Kendrick Lamar. Now, I don't want to hear your answers right now. I need you to write them down, and we'll come back to them at the end of the round. So the options again are Taylor Swift, sweetheart, The Weeknd, or Kendrick Lamar. Right, moving on to the second question. 2015 saw the revival of Justin Bieber's music career. What I want to know is at one point in the charts, he held the top three spaces with three of his songs from his new album. What I want to know is, what were these three songs? Now, I don't need any specific order. I just want all three songs. Is this last year? This is last year, yeah. I can tell that Connor's a big Justin Bieber fan. Am I wrong? Uh, um you are wrong because I'm actually the biggest Justin Oh, Bieber wow. <laughs> oh, well he just blew this game wide yes. open. I, I have a tattoo, but I can't really show where it is on the show. <laughs> <laughs> so have we got answers written down for that one? Um. We seem confident on team winners over here anyway, but we're going to move on to the next question. <laughs> now, instead of me having asked all the questions, I'm going to pass you over to our good friend Blaine, who has the next question on the music round. Everyone knows that when American rap star Kanye West steps on stage, there is never a dull moment. But what was so significant about his appearance at the 2015 VMAs? I can tell after that that the producers upstairs are asking why they gave me this job instead of Blaine. But anyway, that was Blaine there asking that every time when Kanye West steps up on stage, we know there's never a dull moment. But what, I, what he wanted to know was what was so significant about his VMA appearance this year? I've got a Kanye West tattoo as well. No way. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, he's got like a sleeve. It's rather impressive, actually, um, of really, really shit It's artists. not my arm. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised Taylor Swift didn't make that list. <laughs> I have only enough room in my, in my life and on my body for so many <laughs> artists. So anyway, moving on to the next question. It seems to be proving very difficult for artists today to write a completely unique and original song. Later, uh, earlier last year, uh, American musician Tom Petty claimed royalties of which British musician for composing a song that sounded a lot like Petty's own Won't Back Down? So which British artist? <coughs> I'll give you a clue, actually. Do you know, um, what the, I don't know her name, I won't give you the name, she sings the song Hello? Oh, yeah, yeah. it's actually not her, so don't write that down. <laughs> Great. It's a hint. No. No. no okay. And for our final question of this round, <coughs> Canadian rapper Drake is one of the highest selling artists today. He continued his success with the single Hotline Bling. But what I want to ask our teams is what made the song so popular? Do, do you have a uh, Drake tattoo as well, Connor? No, no, sadly not. No? no I, I, have his, I have his picture on my wall, though, in my bedroom. Oh, <laughs> you have like a shrine, lock yeah. of his hair, and pray to it every morning. Drizzy is my one true love. Okay. All right, then. Uh, <coughs> so have we got answers written down for that one? 
Uh, yeah. yeah? Yeah. We're looking good. Okay, so we'll look back on the answers here. The first question asked you, <laughs> out of these artists, Taylor Swift, The Weeknd, and Kendrick Lamar, which artists had the highest number of nominations in this year's Grammy Awards? So passing over to Team McFlurry with et cetera, because <laughs> it was far too long for me to remember. <laughs> What do we have for that answer there? Uh, we have down Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, and then passing over to team <coughs> winners. Uh, we put down Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar. So you okay. remember the name winners, because we're winners. <laughs> <laughs> Stellar <laughs> tactic right there. At least we're sweeter. Anyway, I can tell you that, in fact, Kendrick Lamar is high, has the highest amount of nominations this year. He has 11. Uh, Taylor Swift and The Weeknd follow him with seven nominations each. The next question asks you to name the top three songs of Justin Bieber that hit the charts at the top three spots last year. So can we get three answers from Team McFlurry? Sorry, love yourself, what do you mean? Yeah, exactly, so that's a no point there for you. Uh, we only got two, we only got, uh, we only got sorry, sorry and what do you mean? Oof. You should tend to love yourself more and you'd know the answer. <laughs> what are we thinking then, should we give them like two thirds of the point? Um. I, I, I don't think you should ask with them. No, I, th I think no, uh, I think we should. Points away. Yeah, yeah, I think we should deduct. If, if really. you brought me with McFlurry's, I would have conferred with you. This well, we can well, talk about well, that well, after yeah. the quiz. What about Ben and Jerry's? You well, know. it's too late then. I've already boiled the cup. It actually isn't a cup. I shouldn't have mentioned that. I got your hopes up. Yeah, you did. We'll buy you a cup. Mm. Yeah, we'll buy a cup for next year. We'll buy you a cup of McFlurry with uh, extra chocolate sauce because <laughs> you deserve it. Of course. Okay, well, I'll, 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 I'll think about it. Talk mm -hmm. to producers upstairs and we'll get back to it. Anyway. I'll think about the two thirds of a point and give it to you later, maybe. We're taking well, it. Yeah, we're, we're going to write that. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Yeah, that's anyway, earlier on, Blaine asked both teams, <coughs> what was so significant about Kanye West's appearance at the VMAs this year? So we're going to go back to Blaine to find out the answer. Kanye West at the 2015 VMAs uh, announced that he was running for the American presidential election. Yes, that's right. At this year's 2015 VMAs, Kanye West announced that he's going to run for presidency in 2020. So, how, what answers do we have there? Do we get right or do we go wrong? Yeah, he yep, yep. he's, he's going to run for president. president. Yeah. Um, we said that he announced to run for presidency in 2023. <laughs> I think we should take points away. I, I think he's just lose. That's yeah, it. I think he loses the entire quiz. I'm finished. Yeah, all right, I'm gone. I Thanks. really feel like that might balance out the whole thing that you forgot to love yourself in the last question. Yeah, but we're not, we're not called the drawers. We're called the winners. <laughs> but Jeez. anyway, uh, what do we think about Kanye West running for presidency? I, I know we can't vote, obviously, we're not in the same country, but... I think if I had to pick between Donald Trump and Kanye West, I would pick Kanye West every time. Oh, yeah. Kim Trump. Kardashian is first lady, though. Possibly uh. the first ever woman to become first lady and has a sex tape circling the internet. <laughs> It's not a record you want to have yourself, is it? Anyway, the next question asks you uh, which British artist was claimed off royalties when Tom Petty claimed that his song Won't Back Down was a lot like his song. So do we have an artist in the mind there? Uh, yeah, we do. I mean, we didn't know the answer, but we're going to confidently hypothesize that it was Ed Sheeran. OK, and then Team McFlurry? Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I can British. see that McDonald's are on these guys' minds a lot. But um, in fact, it was actually Sam Smith with the song Stay With Me. Oh, second guess. <laughs> it's too late to change your mind now. Oh, well, we have it written down. Yeah, oh, yeah, see, right there. Oh, oh, Sam Smith, right there. <sighs> yeah, right there. I think I can see a bit of Tipex going on there. Anyway, we'll move on to the final question. <clears throat> Canadian rapper Drake is one of the highest selling artists but he continued his success with the song Hotline Bling. What was so popular or unique about the song that made it so popular? So um, yeah, we said like the, like kind of the music video on his dance. No, yeah? Yeah. What kind of dance was it? Was it Spectacular. I just, I, I, it, it was a masterpiece. Yeah, he's like moving every single joint in his mm. body he had like a in ways like I couldn't possibly previously joint. imagined. It was I'll throw an extra bonus point if you can give me a little impression of it. <laughs> I don't think Go I on. could. <laughs> Stand up. I'll, I'll try, I mean. I don't think I even really remember what it went like. <laughs> Give me a five second rendition. Oh, it's like sort of, he went like down on his knees, he's sort of like. <laughs> you gotta give it to him. You've, 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 gotta, you've gotta give him the, the yeah, He got out of the chair. Yeah. yeah. Oh no. 
<laughs> oh no, what, they can't do the rest of the answer as well? They forfeit well? <laughs> <laughs> so how do we fare for that answer as well? Uh, we put down his dancing and memes. From his dancing. I suppose I'd have to give you the point there. Mm. Yeah. Luckily, here's a pen I prepared earlier. <laughs> so um, at the end of that round, I forgot to keep score. So oh, one point up. Yeah. Keep one point up? Yeah, because I did the dance. Of course, yeah, mm. I, think we, I think we can. So we're, we're just going to leave it at one point ahead instead of actually having actual numbers. So anyway, moving off from that round of music, we're going to move on to everything film. So for the first question in the category of film, which franchise saw its seventh film released this year despite the untimely death of one of its leads? A lot at stake here, Connor. We have to win this. It seemed like both teams are pretty confident. They wrote down very quickly an answer. So I'm just going to move right on ahead. <coughs> now, for the next question, we thought it was a bit unfair to have both of our teams answering all the questions. So for this one, we turned to one of our classmates, Dylan, to answer a question. So what we did here is we brought out the question Irish actor Donald Gleason featured in a number of this year's Oscar nominated films. What we did is we went out and asked Dylan to name, I'll tell you this, there was four films that he was involved in, and we asked Dylan to name as many as he could. So what I want to ask both of our teams here is how many answers do you think Dylan got out of four? D Dylan's a smart guy. Um, Dylan, you know, I like <coughs> you. Um, is Dylan here so we can ask him? <laughs> uh, we asked Dylan to remove himself from the building for this part just so there was no... Can, I, can I phone a friend? Yeah, can, can we phone a friend? Who wants to be a millionaire finished years ago, Connor? So that's not a. <coughs> let's right. not live in the past here. Okay, well. So out of four, I want to know how many films did Dylan go. I mean, he's a film student, surely he knows. I mean, knows? I'm also a film student, and I can only think of one, maybe. That says a lot about so, nothing. Yeah, yeah. That says a lot about me so not saying a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but, so anyway, uh, get an answer down for down? that. I, I yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we'll come back to it. Find out how, how, how much knowledge Dylan has inside him. Uh, for our next question, I'm going to pass you over to our classmate Lauren to find out the next one. After missing out on previous occasions, Leo DiCaprio is once again nominated for an Oscar for his leading role in The Revenant. But just how many times has Leo been nominated before for an Oscar? So what Lauren asked you there <coughs> is a fan favourite Leonardo DiCaprio has been nominated numerous times over the years for an Oscar. Again this year with The Revenant. What I want to know is how many times has he been nominated for an Oscar? Uh, kind of seems to know what he's doing with his fingers there, but oh, he's, oh, he's, gone, double, he's gone to two hands. So. <laughs> He may be way off. Uh, <coughs> or maybe I'm just trying to throw you off. Yeah, everything's that. No. Anyway, for the final question of this round, which actor played the title role in two films this year? One, a Shakespearean tragedy, and the other, a modern biography. I'm sorry, I should have consulted you on that one, but I think I know the answer. Yeah. yeah. Seems like Maureen's playing for herself right now. Yeah, I don't need Connor. No, no, no. <coughs> that's, that's the nature of being a winner, you know? Yeah. Right, so looking over them answers here, we go back to the first question. I asked you which franchise saw its seventh film released last year despite the untimely death of one of its leads. So I'll turn over to team winners at the moment, one point ahead <coughs> for that answer. Harry Potter, Dumbledore dies. No, no, that's no, <laughs> <wait. laughs> Sorry. No, no uh, Fast and Furious. I haven't seen it yet, dude. <laughs> Don't blow the answer. Yeah. I think you should take away a point just for uh, spoilers. Yeah, yeah, like I haven't even. I'm, I'm halfway through the book. It, it came out like three years ago. <laughs> the book's been ever since yeah. spoilers. Three years ago. Yeah, uh, you didn't say spoilers. Three years ago. Still, I, some at spoiler. least, at least some, three some years. guy at home is going to watch this and he's just going to be like, uh, oh damn, didn't get to see those movies. Think and he didn't the kids. Cost, think of the children. Will somebody please Who? think of who's, the children? Who's going to who's going to watch this? <laughs> Whoa. We got abducted. <laughs> We're here against our will. Please help. Don't listen to him. He's, uh, he's a bit crazy. <laughs> uh, anyway, Graham, passing over to you. Did you get the um, same answer? Yes, that? we also got Fast and Furious 7. Furious. Yes, of course. Paul Walker unfortunately passed away last year, um, but continued on Fast and Furious 7 was released. 
So earlier we sent out our team to ask Dylan just how many films Donald Gleeson was involved, which are now nominated for Oscars in this upcoming month. Uh, so I'm going to ask both teams here, what uh, what did we fair for that? Is, uh, it is four films that he's involved in. So how many do you think Dylan got? Dylan, you're a great guy and everything, and we don't doubt that y you might have known all four, but we went with two. Two. And then Team McFlurry, how do we think? We were a little bit more optimistic about it. We kind of went with three. Okay. Well, even if you get the question wrong, I'm sure you have Dylan's mm. affection. If you, <laughs> if, you, if you want, I don't know. Can we get a bonus point for that, though? Uh, well, we'll find out at the end. You might still get the answer right. So let's pass it back over to Dylan and see just how many answers he got right. Uh, the new Star Wars. Oh, God. Oh, drawing a blank here now. Um, I don't know any of the rest of them. The one with the bear. That's a tip. The Revenant. Hint. That's the one. Yes. That's the one. Come on. And. Uh, I don't know the last one. Ah, that's all right. So, with a little help from Blaine, I believe, he finished off with two. So it's another point for team yes. winners. Um, you have the affection of Dylan, I suppose, but um, not quite the point. I think, I think it just proves that we know Dylan better. Yeah. So really, who's the better friend here? Yeah. See, we, we know to love ourselves and love others, therefore we love you, Dylan. Even though I probably never met you. Love, <laughs> love him enough to get the question wrong. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. Nice. yeah so uh, Dylan correctly told us that he's featured in Star Wars and The Revenant, uh, as well as Brooklyn and Ex Machina. So he's really getting himself around now. Was Ex Machina last year? Yeah, it's being nominated as well. Right. So what, what are we what are we thinking? Like, are we going to follow in his footsteps? We need to get out there. He's really doing a good job for the film. Yeah, business. definitely playing the home team. Well, Donald um, Gleeson actually did the same course we're all doing now. So if we can have the same kind of lifestyle, I would not be complaining. Not whatsoever. Dream big, I suppose. Yeah, dream big. Anyway, for the next question, we passed over to Lauren to ask us just how many times Leonardo DiCaprio has been nominated for an Oscar. Let's go back to her with the answer. The answer is five, so fingers crossed for this year. Yes, so in total it was actually five times that he was nominated for an Oscar. Um, let me see what the answers <laughs> fared here. Five. Five? Five <laughs> and five. Did, and tell me, was that, that a guess? guess? Or no, uh, Inception, Shutter Island, um, Django Unchained, A Wolf of Wall Street and The Revenant. I lied about what I said earlier. I do actually need you on my team, Connor. Thank you. Thank and you. Connor's on the impression that there's a bonus point going for naming all them films, and there's not. <laughs> <laughs> in fact, I think you should take away a point for just expecting that in the first place. Just saying. I think you should take away a point from them because they keep nagging you to take away points. We'll give you caramel. <laughs> on top of the McFly? Yeah. I think that. <laughs> anyway, for the final question of the film round, I asked you which actor played two, fil played two title roles in films this year. One was a Shakespearean tragedy, and the other was a modern bio biography. So for Team McFlurry, did we have an answer for that? Uh, yes, we had Michael Fassbender. Michael Fassbender, and, uh, and then team winners? We had Michael Fassbender as well. Yes, of course. So Michael Fassbender played the title roles in the films Macbeth and Steve Jobs this year. <coughs> very, very similar characters, I think. <laughs> I want to see what your angle you is know, on that. One, be one became King Scotland, mm. and, uh, and the other one was Macbeth. So. <laughs> <laughs> And one was brutally murdered. And the other one was Macbeth. Yeah. Well, you're getting so far off track right now. <laughs> Learn the truth, people. It's out there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I think at the end of that round, unless I'm taking away a point from you, is you're going to remain one point ahead. Uh, we'll leave it at that. So for the bonus round, following on to the category of film, we've taken uh, three stills from popular films from last year and made a few changes to them. Well, I want to ask my, te uh, my two teams here, is what are the stills taken from? What films? So let's have a look at the stills here. <laughs> <laughs> this is still number one. Very good, right I wonder who that it. handsome guy is. is it, are we sure that's photoshopped? No, I, I want to get the photoshopped one. <laughs> have we got an answer for that one, Dan? Yeah. yeah. And maybe the second one come up? <laughs> God, I'm <laughs> handsome. <laughs> and then for the final third one, Hmm. How about that body, eh? <laughs> can we see that again by any chance? Um, yeah. Okay, yes, apparently we can. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think. All right. Okay, so let's have a look at them answers for them. 
Um, um, so for the first one, the what do we have? Yeah, we That's have very one. obviously Matt Damon in The Martian. So okay. <laughs> and do we have the same answer from Team Affleur? Yes. Okay. The and then for the second, so let's have a look and see what we had here. Straight out of Compton. <laughs> yes, so that is of course from the film Straight Out of Compton. Yeah. Yeah, we got Points it. for both teams there. Mm -hmm. And for the final answer, what do we have? We, we had Mad Max Fury Road. Yeah, so the Mad same Max. Let's have a look. Yes, of course, that's Nicholas Holt from the film Mad Max. <coughs> okay, so for our third round and final round, we talk <coughs> all things sports. <coughs> So for the first question around the sport, <coughs> we're talking about Conor McGregor. He himself claimed that he conquered the MMA world, but I'm not going to ask you anything too specific. All I want to know is, how old is the Crumlin man? Not clear enough, but uh, never mind. <coughs> Do we have an answer for that? Yeah, 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 okay, let's go. Okay. For the next question on sports, New Zealand claimed the Rugby World Cup for the third time in October. But what I want to know is, in the 80th minute of the final, Dan Cowder kicked a conversion. But what was so unusual about this final minute kick? I think the two teams are looking pretty stunned in the sports round so far. What are we thinking? Do you know? No. <coughs> <laughs> okay, you got an answer for that? If we think so. <laughs> okay, As you can see I'm really a sports connoisseur. I could tell from the mm. side of the show, yeah, you were really looking yeah. forward to the final round. We you love sports. sports. Yeah. Sports yeah. is this our is strong quite point. evident this is, of course, yeah. uh, not a Star Wars shirt. It's a jersey, in fact. <laughs> it's pronounced Sterbars. It's a German team. <laughs> Of what? Yes, same. We are actually Wolverine. It's a, it's an Austrian team uh, as yes. well. Yeah, yeah, yeah the Wolverines. Yeah. 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 Star Wars is better. <laughs> anyway, so for the final question of this year's quiz, Jamie Vardy leads the way in goals scored in the current Premier League season. But after digging into his social media history, what catchphrase has become associated with the Leicester striker? Okay, so for the first time in the whole quiz, Connor is actually taking the pen and paper. So he must be pretty confident about this. As for Team McFlurry, not looking so confident in the final round. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look really? at the final answers for this, this quiz this year. Okay. I asked you, how old is MMA fighter Conor McGregor? So I'll pass the obviously <coughs> with Team McFlurry, see what we have for that answer. 27. 27, okay. We also and guessed 27. 27. 27, with a question mark over it, I can no, see. No, that, that, that's nothing. No? Okay, no, well, despite how we unconfident you sound <laughs> in your voices, you actually did both get the answer right. He is, in fact, 27. We knew it all along. Yeah, we knew it. Uh, for the winners. For the second last question, I asked you, what was so unusual about Dan Carter's 80th minute conversion kick in the Rugby World Cup final this year? Did he use his opposite foot? Okay, again, confidence is strong yeah. with the team. Uh, we said that he used his head. <laughs> <laughs> you watch rugby, obviously, quite often. But you could take that as he was, used, it was a tactical kick. As so then he, he used his head, okay. or he used his head. Like, there's many ways this you is can true. do that. This is true, but... Um, yeah, well, well, we'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm going to actually... Sprinkles, man. <laughs> with caramel, I'm liking it. <laughs> but, um, on fact, Bribes will only get you so far. <laughs> team winners actually got the right answer. He did use his <laughs> other foot just for his very last kick. But we're still off. Of course we knew that. Oh, saying. we knew that. <laughs> yeah. So for the very last question of the quiz, I asked what catchphrase has been associated with Leicester striker Jamie Vardy after digging into his social media history. Um, um, I saw Connor earlier on with a lot of confidence in him writing this question and answer down. I, I, so I can reveal I am highly confident that the catchphrase is chat shit get banged. 
chat chick get banned i believe you are right with that one have we, have we matched the answer here well we kind of just went with what i was currently thinking at the time our oh, balls <laughs> you could probably pun? say they mean the same thing was that a pun <laughs> i had this pre-prepared earlier well, impressed. <laughs> i'm still breaking your soul mm. ever so slightly it doesn't ball. matter because we won. as far as i know that's the end of the quiz, <laughs> quiz it is monster. the end of the quiz and then um, you should remove a point for saying it before you did uh, I said I, I, said I thought that was the end, 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 end of the quiz and, and, and looked to the and quiz master for guidance. To give you he's trying to take your power. We're trying to give you something and he's trying to take something mm. away. I think Listen, we're being straight with you, man. We're team winners, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we said we're going to win. I, I, I don't know the maths exactly, but Look, I, I'm confident we have more When the producers points. came up to us earlier and said, you're definitely going to win, that's why you should be called team winners, we thought we were actually going to win. So This is a good point. They said, also got spring their team said they deserve chocolate sauce. They said nothing about you. They're cutting okay, out well, a deal. Well, let, let, also let's call an end to this bus. brawl and I'll give, I'll give the answers and I'll give the winners. After keeping a close tie, but uh, towards the end of the round, I think the sports round really played a difference. And the winners of this year's quiz are, in fact, ironically, team winners. Nothing ironic about it, we were always going to win. Yep. I still want that McFlurry later. I, I don't know, man. We bribed the hell out of you, and that's... McFlurry. It's off the table. Cheers. Now. Anyway, thank you very much for joining us for this year's edition of Quiz This. Please join us next year for more questionable answers and questionable jokes. Thank you. We're the best team ever.